I'm quite impressed that my video on the relatively new Lithuanian military camouflage pattern did so well. Maybe it was the provocative thumbnail that got the attention of more Americans. There were a lot of different opinions about the uniforms, and to my surprise, many were negative. So I thought I would make a short video about what all of you had to say, and maybe analyze it a little. So let's get started. So the big topic of the video is that a lot of the viewers, who are presumably members of Lithuania's land forces, actually dislike the new uniform. The color, or its brightness to be more specific, was the biggest issue you guys discussed. Let me just read some of the comments. One thing I dislike about this uniform is if you wash it incorrectly a few times, it loses coloring and soon starts looking worn down, even if the material itself is still in pristine condition. The common consensus was that the white uniforms stood out in the forest far too much and were disliked for it. The new camo isn't better at all. Nobody really liked it, unless going on a deployment. It is too bright and the pattern and colors wash out really quickly. Most of the soldiers still prefer to use old camo if they could. Sadly, only reservists get ones, then going to training for three weeks. Because of a bad new pattern, light color shade in forest terrain, which is 35% of our terrain. Yeah, and we call the new uniform Volta Mishraini. And then finally, this one guy, presumably a Latvian, agreed about the brightness, saying the Lithuanian camo looks too bright, should have followed the Latvian example where they went from universal approach, lat pat, to a more woodland dominant camo, the new wood lat pat, with its unique triangular pattern. I can see what you're all talking about, especially when compared to the old uniforms. One person stated that one size fits all translates into one size fits nobody. It's the same thing with universal camouflage, doesn't blend in well with any environment. But I would have to disagree with this particular statement. Yes, Lithuania does have a lot of dark green forest woodland, and yes, the old uniforms would probably work better in this environment. It's so clear in some photos. But I would say that the new multicam is better suited to urban environments and some forest environments, and of course, arid and desert environments. In fact, while I was making this video and gathering examples of how well or how poorly the pattern blends in with various environments, I was actually quite impressed with what I saw. During the autumn season, when deciduous trees change color and leaves fall to the ground, was one setting where the pattern seemed to work quite well. Also, as snow starts to fall, the lighter color might be decent when there are patches of snow here or there. So maybe it's not as bad as some people are making it out to be. But I really do hope that the washing and fading issue can be solved. It's a compromise. And honestly, I'm not necessarily defending the new uniform because I'm not that attached to any particular design, but I can see the practicalities of this more beige brown focused pattern. Someone else commented saying, the old green uniforms are still very respected by Lithuanian military. Sniper guys usually still use it as it is very good for nature environment. Yeah, I get that. Hopefully the Lithuanian army held on to extra sets of the old pattern for those extra important missions. And finally, on the topic of liking or disliking the new uniforms, someone commented saying, when it came out, I hated it and wanted the old one back. But it grew on me and now I like it. Well, I guess I'll check back with all of you in a few years to see if anyone else feels like that, or if most of you still hate it. Oh, and in the last video, I mentioned that official sources say that the Vitas cross is hidden in this Lithuanian design pattern. I also mentioned that I couldn't find it. A soldier reached out and sent me this photo, which points out two examples where the cross can be seen. So, can you see it now? Addressing another comment, this one states, Lithuanian Rifleman Union seems to prefer woodland camo, and I'm not aware about plans to switch to universal one. I guess preferences are elsewhere. Are there any riflemen watching that can talk about this? My own personal and uneducated theory was that the woodland camo is extremely mass-produced and therefore very cheap. And since the Rifleman Union is a non-profit organization, it just went with the cheaper, easier to acquire pattern. Sure, it is old, and the US Army used it between 1981 and the early 2000s, but I think it does a good job in those thick, lush, darker forest environments. From the comments of displeasure surrounding the Lithuanian Land Forces newer multicam, I bet some soldiers would prefer the woodland pattern instead. On the topic of cost, and in particular, comparison with the US Army's UCP debacle, a few people took offense to the fact that I called it a waste of money. Some said that $5 billion makes sense because the US Army is just so much bigger than the Lithuanian Army. Okay, so at this point, I do have to concede a little bit of ground. You see, it was my understanding that $5 billion was the cost of development only. 
From 2002 to 2004, the US military invested $5 billion in over a decade of research developing this camouflage pattern. However, further research since publishing that video reveals that this was the cost of development and deployment. So if that's the case, then yeah, a figure in the billions of dollars would make quite a lot of sense. There's just a lot more uniforms to produce. However, I found that development cost was still $3.2 million. A lot less than the 5 billion I thought it was, but still much more than what Lithuania spent. I actually think $3.2 million on development is somewhat reasonable for such an important component of military operations. But still, if it's true that UCP wasn't properly tested and had an ineffective pattern, well guys, it's just a bad way to spend $3.2 million. Well, and also $5 billion to produce and distribute ineffective uniforms. In case you haven't yet heard about why the pattern was ineffective, here's another clip from that half as interesting explainer video that I cited last time. Pattern, named Urban Track, was composed of tan, gray, and sage green, and soon after it was approved in 2004, soldiers started to notice its flaws. Its macro pattern, or the collective camouflage effect of the whole uniform, didn't work. The pixels made up distinct blobs of color meant to disguise them, but the problem was, these blobs were actually too small and created an effect known as isoluminance, which means the entire uniform appeared as a visible tan mass rather than a blitz of colors difficult to separate from each other. This effect made the camouflage appear flat in a three-dimensional environment environment, so from nearly any distance, the camouflage failed to do its job. And finally, I just gotta address all the comments about the Lithuanian word of the day in that video, marginimas. Wow, you guys really responded to that one. I guess it's a good thing since it tells me that a lot of you are watching the video all the way to the end, so thanks for that. There were quite a few marginimas comments, but here are two that I'll respond to. So the first one says, Marginimus stands more closer to something that's being painted with multiple colors, like an Easter egg. And Marginimus basically means painting with multiple colors, like painting an egg for Easter celebration. I haven't heard the word Marginimus in a military context. To these comments, I'll say that Marginimus and all of the words declensions are mentioned by all of the sources I used, the official Lithuanian military website, the LRT article, and yeah, the word even appears in the old issue of Kares. So I guess I'm happy that for once I can educate you Lithuanians on your own language. I say that jokingly, of course. Okay, so at the end of the day, I think, or at least hope, that we can all agree that making a pattern specifically for an environment is the ideal. But in reality, there are just too many different environments out there to practically and economically have different sets of field uniforms. I think it's pretty clear that this newer Lithuanian pattern does work quite well in a variety of environments, but the result is that it is less effective in darker woodlands and forests that you'll see across much of Lithuania. So as you can see, I sometimes read comments and sometimes I respond. And sometimes I even make videos responding to comments. But I'll wrap it all up by asking all of you this one question. If you don't like Lithuania's new multicam pattern, then what pattern would you prefer? Pick from anywhere in the world, whether it's the Marine Marpat, or Canada's new Multicam, or the US Army's OCP. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment. For the Lithuanian word of the day, let's go with something simple like Mishkas, which means forced. Mishkas. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoy this channel and want to support me in making more videos, please consider becoming a Patreon patron. There's a link to this down in the description. Thanks again for watching.